Hello, Junk Wax Investor community. Today we'll be looking at the top 10 Junk Wax era baseball cards that sold on eBay in the last week. In addition to the list at the end, as always, I include some awesome bonus listings. Some great cards in there. You don't want to miss them, so make sure you stay tuned for those. Let's not waste any more time and get into the good stuff. Alright, leading us off in the 12th spot from 1993 Bowman, we have Derek Jeter's rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $480. And a gem in slabs is a Papa's 862. And boxes of 1993 Bowman sell for around $90 to $130. In the 11th spot from 1995 Upper Deck Miners, we have a Derek Jeter Auto in raw condition. It was a fixed price sale for $499.99. This is actually not a pack pulled auto. There's been 85 graded with PSA. There are 15 near mint mint eights. There's one 8.5. There's only 12 mint nines and there's actually 29 gem mint PSA tens. So the gem mint 10 pop is the highest pop. Uh, PSA 7 sold for $380 in June of last year. Um, as mentioned before, the autographs were not pack inserted. Rather, they were distributed directly to hobby dealers who ordered 95 Upper Deck Miners directly from Upper Deck. So each player signed a thousand cards in this insert set, the autograph insert set. However, they're not serial numbered, but they're limited to a thousand. Boxes of 1995 Upper Deck Miners are 85 to 110 bucks. But remember, the autographs are not inserted into packs. However, the boxes are still worth taking a look at. There's a 10-card Michael Jordan insert set that are box hits, 1 in 35 cards. Plus a bunch of other awesome insert sets as well. In the number 10 spot from 1989 Upper Deck, we have Randy Johnson's rookie card. Graded a pristine SGC gold label. This was a fixed price sale for $500. And a pristine gold label slab is a pop of only five. Uh, for comparisons, gem and PSA 10s, a pop of 4,932. Wow, higher than the Griffey. And they sell for around 100 bucks or so. A pristine BGS 10 sold for $500 as well back in June. Boxes of 1989 Upper Deck Low Series sell for around $250 to $325. In the number 9 spot from 1992 Bowman, we have the Mariano Rivera Rookie Card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $573. Pop of this card in a gem in slab is $1,504. This exact card sold for $531 in December of 2020. So we're back down to around 2020 pricing for this one. Boxes of 1992 Bowman sell for around $370 to $475. And the number 8 spot from 1994 Bowman's Best, we have a Derek Jeter Refractor graded Mint BGS 9. This was a fixed price sale for $625. Pop of this card is 35 in a mint slab, but there are 17 graded higher, with one of those being a pristine 10. Subgrades were 10 for centering, 9.5 for corners and edges, and then 8.5 for surface. It's a mint PSA 9 pop of 144 compared to 35 for BGS, and they sell for around $400. So this one here is a rare example of a BGS copy selling for higher than a similar graded PSA copy. The red subset was Veteran Stars. The blue subset, like this one here, Jeter, was Rookies and Prospects. All 200 card refractor parallels were inserted one in nine packs. And there were 24 packs in Hobby Box and 20 in Retail. Boxes of 94 Bowman's Best sell for around $90 to $150. In the number 7 spot from 1984 Fleer, we have a Don Mattingly rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $660. In a gem in slab, it's a pop of $414. And boxes of 1984 Fleer sell for around $250 to $400. A high price, of, high range of that's for BBC certified boxes. Usually for one certified from a sealed case. And... 84 Fleer is a new one to the top 10 list because we just added 84. So I've added that to our eBay affiliate links in the description below. Those links will take you directly to eBay search results for all the boxes in the top 10 plus ones from our previous videos. So check those out. 
In the number six spot from 1985 tops, we have a Kirby Puckett rookie car graded gem in PSA 10. This car sold at auction for $699.99. And a gem mint slab is a pop of 481. And boxes of 85 tops sell for around 340 to $525. In the number five spot from 1992 Upper Deck, we have the Ted Williams Heroes Autograph, numbered to 2500, graded a BGS 8.5 with a 9 grade for the auto. This car sold at auction for $897.99. It's a pop of 34 and a near mint mint plus 8.5, and there are 116 graded high with the highest being 44 gem mint 9.5s. Subgrades were 9.5 for centering and surface. 8.5 for corners and an 8 for edges. The Ted Williams autos were inserted into Series 1 boxes of 92 Upper Deck, and those boxes sell for around $10 to $20. In the number 4 spot from 1994 Upper Deck Collector's Choice, we have the Michael Jordan Silver Signature Parallel graded gem in PSA 10. This was a fixed price sale for $1,000. This exact card sold for $300 back in October of 2020. It's a pop of only 32 in a gem mint slab. The silver signatures were inserted one per wax pack or three in every jumbo pack. And boxes of 1994 Collector's Choice, this Jordan's in Series 2. Those Series 2 boxes sell for $110 to $150. All right, time to see what our top three is. But before we do, just a reminder, if you need any hobby supplies, check out BCW Supplies. There's a link in the description below. Use the code JUNKWAX10 to save 10% on your order. And the third spot from 1984 Fleer Update. We have the Kirby Puckett Extended Rookie Card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $1,165. It's a pop of 575 in a gem mint slab. And... This exact card sold for $898 in June of 2021, so just over a year ago. So it's gone up nicely since then. The 84 Fleer Update set sell for around $400 to $800. So the Fleer Update was a hobby exclusive set, and it's believed to be relatively short printed, around 12,000 sets, so rarer than some of the Tiffany sets, even though it's not like a special glossy edition or anything. In the number two spot, also from 1984 Fleer Update, we have the Roger Clemens Extended Rookie Card, graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $1,730. It's a pop of 581, so just a few higher than the pocket. And this exact card sold for $555 in August of 2017. As mentioned before, those sets sell for 400 to 800 bucks, but also be advised if you're purchasing raw copies of the Clemens, the Doc Gooden, the Kirby Pocket, or even the Brett Saberhagen, there are quite a few counterfeits out there, so be careful. And top of the list this week in the number one spot from 1989 Upper Deck, we have the Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie Card Graded Gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $2,000.25, so just over the $2,000 mark. Pop of this card is 4043 and boxes of 89 Upper Deck sell for around $250 to $325. Sales of this have kind of bottomed out a month or two ago at around $1,800 or less. I wonder if we've kind of turned a bit of a corner and maybe we're seeing a slight upward trend. I don't want to get too excited about it, but we'll keep an eye on it. All right, that's it for the top 10. Let me know in the comments below out of these cards here, which one would you add to your PC? I think my pick would be the 89 Upper Deck Randy Johnson in a pristine gold label. I like the pristine slabs. Alright, time for our Junk Wax Investor Baseball Index. So this week baseball was up. It was uh, up to 88.6. That's good to see because everything else was down. SP 500, NASDAQ, Bitcoin, all down. The baseball list is made up of 63 cards. Here's the list of those cards spanning from 1985 to 1995. Lots of awesome superstar, Hall of Famers, and rookie cards on there. Pretty awesome list. Summary for the week, we had 30 cards with an increase in price. That's nice to see. 16 with no change and only 17 decreased prices. And let's see how baseball is stacking up to the other three major sports. Football had a huge drop this week. 
Still in the number one spot, but baseball is not too far behind. 89.1 versus 88.6. Hockey's down as well this week, and basketball was up 77.7. I put together these indexes and track all their values using the features of the Market Movers app. It's got some pretty awesome collections features and other tools that are great for your hobby needs. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. Use the code JWI, and the first month of your subscription is only a buck. They have three different tiers, three different prices with different features. So check out that link if you're interested. Let's get in some bonus cards. All right, up first from 1993 Classic Four Sport, we have the Tri Card Insert with Alex Rodriguez, Chris Weber, and Drew Bledsoe. Graded a gem in PSA 10, this card sold at auction for $43.51. It's a pop of only 80 in a gem mint slab. This exact card sold for $50 in March of 2021. These have a super low print run of 65,600. Definitely being a little sarcastic there, but definitely a neat card showing three different sports. From 1993 Bleachers 23 Karat Gold Megastar Promo. This is a Ken Griffey Jr. Promo. Graded a mint PSA 9 and sold at auction for $40.01. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. It is a pop of only four in a mint slab, and there's only one higher graded gem in 10. I think that was a pretty good buy. 40 bucks, and really only one higher graded. From 1992 Pinnacle Mickey Mantle set, we have Mickey Mantle, Whitey Ford, and Yogi Berra. Graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $36.99. It's a low pop of only 14 in a gem mint slab. This 92 Pinnacle set was a 30 card box Mickey Mantle set commemorating the life and career. Uh, the print run of the whole set was only 180,000 sets, so not super rare probably find these out there for fairly cheap still but nice looking cards from 1996 Fleer we have a Derek Jeter Tiffany parallel graded in mint PSA 9 this card sold at auction for $50 this exact card sold for $52.63 back in September of 2019 so no increase in value there it's a pop of only 28 in a mint slab and there are 21 higher graded gem in tens so the Tiffany Glossy Parallels were inserted one per pack in 1996 Fleer packs. From 1996 Leaf Limited, we have an Alex Rodriguez Lumberjacks Black Parallel. Serial numbered to only 500 in raw condition, sold at auction for $54. So each of the Lumberjacks insert cards were printed on maple wood. And the regular insert set was serial numbered to 5,000. And these black parallels were serial number to only 500. There's only been 15 of these submitted to PSA. There's nine mint nines and only five gem mint tens. From 1990 Bowman Tiffany, we have a Larry Walker rookie card graded gem mint PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $153.61. It's a pop of only 161. The Bowman Tiffany seems to be a Pretty good buy compared to the Topps Tiffany rookie for Larry Walker. The Topps Tiffany one sells for around four hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, the ninety Bowman Tiffany sets sell for around six hundred to eight hundred bucks. You get this Larry Walker rookie card, but you also get Frank Thomas rookie in there as well. From nineteen eighty nine Topps, we have a Nolan Ryan base card graded gem in PSA ten. This card sold at auction for sixty eight dollars. Even middle of the junk wax Nolan Ryan base cards sell. Fairly strong. I mean, 68 bucks doesn't seem like a lot, but now that grading starting to get down in the $20 range, this here is a pop of 556, so pretty high pop. And it still commanded $68 at auction. I'm kind of impressed with that for an 89 tops. Must be a lot of Nolan Ryan collectors out there. From 1992 Star Gold Edition, we have a Ken Griffey Jr. promo. And these are limited to only 150 in raw condition, sold at auction for $38. If you're a Griffey collector, you need to have one of these. Only two of these have been graded by PSA, so super low pop. There's a PSA 5 and a mint PSA 9, so 38 bucks. that was a steal. Even if you don't like the star cards personally, there's a bunch of them, a bunch of different sets. You get this Griffey promo that's limited to only 150 I think you send that in and get it graded and you would probably make a bit of a return on that. 
from 1991 Leaf. We have the Nolan Ryan Gold Rookies insert, and he's definitely not a rookie. This is commemorating his seventh no hitter and it graded a gem in PSA 10. It sold at auction for $96. It's a pop of only 141 in a gem mint slab. So the gold rookies was a 26 card insert set that were inserted into series one and series two packs at a rate of one in four packs. The first 12 cards were in series one, the rest in second series. And then the final two cards. There was one that commemorated Nolan Ryan's seventh no hitter, which is this one here. And then there was a Ricky Henderson one that commemorated him breaking Lou Brock's all time stolen base record. So they were added to the checklist at the last minute. So it's kind of why they stand out a bit in the rookies insert. But here they are. And we're going to finish it up with something pretty unique here. I know some of you might be thinking, oh man, not another Tiffany set. But don't click off. You definitely want to see this one. I've never seen this before. Let me know in the comments below if this is new to you as well. So this is, it is a Tiffany set, but it's an 88 Tops UK Mini Tiffany set. So it's an 80 card mini set. And this here, this box sold at auction for $46.51. So super great deal, I think. It says unopened, however, when you look at the picture. I mean, the sticker does look like it's pulled up a bit. So I'm not sure if somebody, I don't know if you would partially open this or not. I pretty sure this might be opened however the mini tiffany and regular issued minis have no visual differences in the cards except for the tiffany ones are high gloss so the only way that really you can distinguish between the two types is to have the card in hand and feel the high gloss finish on the tiffany cards i couldn't find usually the tiffany sets.com has production runs for them but i couldn't find a production run for this the uk mini one I'm sure it's quite low as far as Tiffany sets go. And there is no PSA pop report for the UK mini Tiffany's. So there is the 88 Tops UK minis. Here's a look at what they look like. The Nolan Ryan one here. Um, pretty low pops on those as well. I don't see too many of them. However, the Tiffany actually has none submitted as Tiffany versions. So that's pretty interesting. This is something to look out for. That might actually be potential buy and crack it open get some of these slabs and you'd have pop ones of like nolan ryan wade boggs other hall of famers in there let me know what you guys think in the comments below have you seen this before do you think it's a buy at less than 50 bucks let me know all right that's it for the video let me know in the comments below what your favorite cars were also if you have a quick second please hit that like button i truly appreciate the support if you haven't checked out the affiliate links that we have in the description below we have eBay partner network links for various search results specific to the video. If you want to do some browsing of some of these cards and sets, check out those links below. It's a pretty helpful reference. Also, we got a link to BCW Supplies, and you guys can save 10% with the code JUNKWAX10. And in addition, we have a link to the Market Movers app, and you can use the code JWI to get your first month subscription for just $1 to give it a try. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.